Hello again everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to work with VLC Media Player. So the first thing I want to show you is how to listen to the disc you put in your computer through VLC. So many of you will think that we have to go on open disc. And here's our audio CD. And it's going to start playing. Or we can just go through open file and find the disk through that, but I prefer I prefer to go on open disk and then an audio CD and then play. If it's an audio CD that would be okay. But if it's a video CD you must go on open file because it's going to open in a different format and you don't want that to happen. Okay. So the next thing, I'm going to teach you how to save playlist to file. So let's say we have this, this disk, and I want to save it to my desktop. So I'm just going to save it in my videos. And, and I'm just going to click on save, and it's just saved there. So that was pretty easy if you wanted to save it. So every time you put in the disk, you could just go on open file videos and then you can just find see here's my video TS I'm just going to start playing right now see that was pretty easy so there's two ways you can open on this just like that and the next thing I will be showing you is how you get to settings. Settings by pressing Control P. And here you go. Your settings. This is the basic settings of everything. And here's the audio settings. If you're listening to a headphone, you will like to press on headphones around. And you could just toggle between the settings for audio for listening to a disc. This is for video. Um, this is for subtitles. For inputs and codecs. So, and then these are hotkeys. You can you can put them on yourself. That's one thing. Also, if you are listening to some something. And you don't know what this one does. You just put the mouse next to it. And it's always going to tell you what it does. See random, show playlist, show extended settings, toggle the video to full screen, next media, see, move from one continuously see what frame by frame so you just don't know what a thing does you just just near your mouse near it and just wait until it tells you what it does it does not work for everything it only works for some stuff convert and save so we have a disk it's audio CD, and you want to convert it to, to MP3 to FLV. So let's see. We just click on convert and save. And that's how we're going to convert. I'm going to make a separate video of how to convert. If you have help, you just go on help, F1. If you want to record, you go. You make sure it's only on advanced controls. So you have record right over here to record the video. You can also make a bookmark. So let's say I was watching a video and I stopped in the middle, and then you it comes to VLC again and it starts all over from the beginning. So you make a bookmark. Make a bookmark. You manage bookmarks. Just create audio CD 011 and you just press right here and 
and then you're just going to type in the second where you want the bookmark to be. So let's say I left on 11, and let's say that's going and the next time I put in the disk, it's going to start on 11. That's how you make a bookmark. You can always just increase the volume, real easy. So basically that's how you work with VLC media player. It's, uh, if you do not have VLC media player, go on Google. Google and you just type in VLC. See, you get the number one free media player. See, download now. I I already have it. I already have it installed, so I don't really have to download it. And that's it. It has all of Play Flash D, Blu-ray. VLC can actually read any, mostly any format. It's a really good media player. Okay. Please like my video if you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.